Well, here we are folks, my first trip on my new syndicate. Um, in for the draw this morning at 8 o'clock. Probably came out about 6, not too much worry really. You know, if I come out first, I'd have been happy, second maybe. But then after that, it doesn't really matter where you actually come, does it? Especially as I'm a newbie to the water, and it's sort of, uh, I want to try and keep away from everyone and not to. Uh, thrash around the water and things like that and upset people things like that so worked out uh, worked out quite well I think I must say but uh, yeah it's uh, well spring has sprung lockdown is easy and um, if we're really lucky you know things might be uh, improving over the next you know, few months and start doing a lot more stuff uh, yeah and, uh, Got down here about seven o'clock this morning. Had a good walk around the lake. I think a few areas I fancied. I've done a little bit of, uh, well, quite a bit of looking, thinking, mapping things out over the past uh, month and a bit. Trying to sort of work out where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do, and things like that. Uh, and then check the weather conditions and. Uh, things changed slightly, the strong winds have sort of died down, it's a bit of an old wind now so I was partly tempted to go in the shallow part of the lake and partly tempted to sort of want well, to keep away from the deeper water. I was doing some gardening yesterday and it really was horribly and miserable cold, I just didn't really sort of fancy that but sort of my, I'm right on the edge of it unfortunately because that's uh, all where I could go or if I sort of, the other option was sort of crowd um crowd down another another area and even more rods which seems sort of silly really um i have to have got the choice of sort of going up one from here but i think this is quite quite secluded area quite a nice little area um I've, well, it took me several hours to find a decent spot i must admit and i have to get in the water to cast out things like that so it's uh, Slightly entertaining, but we, we've we've got there, and we've, you know, we've got the got the rods and some decent areas, and got a bit of bait out. And just now sit down and relax for the next uh, you know, 48 hours. I'm gonna do two nights uh, on here, and uh, yeah, you know, let's see where we go from there. It's sort of, you know, exploratory mission first of all. It's, it's all quite good, really. Anyway, I'm going to uh, have a brew now and a bite of wheat. I've not had breakfast or anything like that, so it will be nice to, uh, yeah, chill out, settle down, and relax now. The wait is over, and I, I'm waiting for close season, it was. Crazy, ridiculous. There we go. But, uh, no, we're happy, we're on air, finally, everything's all set, baited up, happy with it, yeah, it's got to be good isn't it really, it's got to be good to be on the bank, anyway, I'll give you an update maybe this evening, or, uh, or tonight, later on, uh, or tomorrow morning something. I just want to soak up the atmosphere and enjoy it really. So, uh, no, me, I'll probably end up forgetting that I'm supposed to be uh, doing another blog or something. So, uh, there we go. Right. Catch up with you soon. Well, the first night passed peacefully and quiet and tranquil. Fog came in, so it's half nine ish now. Uh, it's finally cleared and turned out to be an absolute stunningly lovely day really. Um, all I got about an hour ago was a single bleep on the left hand rod and the bobbin rose up and it's stayed there ever since really. Um, yeah, it's an interesting sign, you know, something's moved, something's you know, done something. There are a few tension here, I don't know if there's any bream. I haven't actually discovered that one yet. 
Um, but I don't know, we'll just have to see where we go on that one. Um, I know there's pike and stuff in here, because uh, I think people are pike fishing and things. Um, yeah, it's been an enjoyable first night really. Um, slept better than I thought I would, considering I haven't slept outside since before Christmas. Um, yeah, it's all pretty reasonable really. Um, yeah, we're going to work out what we're going to do today. Um, might actually head home, I'm not really sure. I've got to be at work tomorrow, so I can fish on um, Tuesday nights, but uh, I have to be at work on Wednesday, so depending on the motivation levels, is to, depending on how motivated, how keen I am to actually stay and do another night and pack up. But uh, I think it's just nice to have actually done a night, it's been so long, and enjoyed it, so I can see myself going home sort of mid afternoon and uh, coming back next week. It's not like every other week I have to uh, go and do a job on Wednesday morning. So every other week I can actually happily stay and fish Tuesday night and not worry too much about Wednesday. So, but this week, unfortunately, the timing's sort of uh, been that I've uh, got, to, uh, got to go and do some work tomorrow. So I've got to do a quote as well, so a little bit to do. And I might. Like I think it's a little bit better to go out today, a bit more level-headed and with everything for tomorrow. And uh, come back and have a play uh, on uh, next Sunday, because I'm going to sort of do Sunday nights, Monday nights. As I said, every other week I might do Tuesday nights, or if I'm really keen, I shall do Tuesday night. And uh, see how we get on, really. But I thoroughly enjoyed it, I must admit. It's nice to be back on the bank. Interesting to have a new view, I must say. Um, it's interesting to use three rods, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen any fish. I haven't heard any fish. Um, I think so. I might have wangled one last night sort of through the grapevine report, which is quite nice. Um, yeah. So the fish feed up until you get a bite up until 10 o'clock. So, 10 o'clock? Noon time, actually. It's about 10 o'clock now, probably. Um, so I've got a couple of hours of bite time left, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit in the bivy and sit back, have a burrow, have a bite of eat or something, and then uh, take it from there from uh, midday onwards, really. Right, I'll catch up with you before I go then, really.
Hold on, tell it down. That's different colour hook bait. <coughs> That's the console. That's how you make. For me. Prefer. Super clunk when it lands, but it's landing nicely. What you want it to Well, as you can see, I've baited up, got my rods all sorted for the night. I'm definitely going to stay and do tonight. I'm just going to get up early tomorrow morning and uh, get out there, get it done, and uh, yeah, enjoy the extra night. 
Um, I went out in the boat first of all looking for clear spots, but it's just it's too murky out there, can't find anything. So I chucked the marker out and again, roughly in the same area as I've been before. Did connect with a couple of donks, which is quite good. Led it around those areas, also had a few little donks, so it's gonna, there's a, there's a fair chance I got it perfect, which is really good. Clipped up on that, adjusted everything to where it should be, and uh, yeah, rode out there. Put some bait, bait out in the areas, which seems to be the sensible way. Rather than spotting for 15 minutes, just paddle out there, drop a little bait, and come back. Make sure you just spread it around the marker float, and uh, all good, really. Well and truly dust now, you can uh, hear the uh, road a lot not worn out. Um, I see some ducks going by, you can see the lights of the house on the far bank. Um, unfortunately the Tufties have totally and utterly moved in and having the best of time but trashing my swim. But we'll just have to see where that goes to be honest with you. I don't mind a bit of, bit of tufty action because that's what stirs the bottom up and picks things about and gets sort of a bit of interaction going and hopefully if a carp comes along they'll go, oh hang on a minute, you know, what are they feeding on? I want a bit of that and uh, get out there and do a little bit of feeding themselves but uh, yeah it was a bit, um, a bit chaotic at one point out there so we shall see, the bait should stay on and everything, things like that so it's never a bad thing. Uh, yeah, any luck, I'll uh, might get a result tonight, don't know, just uh, keep on trying, unfortunately the Tufties are back out there again now, see some ripples out there just appear, come back for a play, if I'm really lucky I'll get a bleep in a moment, I'm not sure they're picking the bait up, or just sort of picking up the line and things like that, sort of disturbing it, they are reasonably sensitive, my buzzers are at the moment, so. Uh, sort of like keep a track of what's going on if there's anything moving from a swim and things like that. But uh, yeah, you know, been enjoyable. Hopefully, I'll uh, remember to do a video tomorrow morning before I leave. But you, you never know when you're in a rush or not. I like, uh, tend to forget these things sometimes, but I'll do my best. We just have to see. It'd be nice to get a fish on film. I don't think it's going to be as straightforward and as simple as. Uh, most of my fishing's been recently, so it's going to be a bit of a, a hard going one this is, which is quite good, definitely could do the challenge, something a little bit different, a bit more effort involved, um, yeah, don't really enjoying it at the moment, it's very nice, I guess leading into my second night, uh, yeah, be back again next week and see where we go. Well, morning folks, it's uh, pack up time now. I pack up, get home, sort myself out, crack off off to work, uh, do my stuff and uh, live to fight another day really. I shall be back um, again next week. Not quite sure where I'm going to quite end up next week. It's uh, Easter weekend, so Easter weekend is always a always a funny one, I don't know whether it's going to be really busy or not, not busy, don't know, we'll just have to, have to wait and see really, what, what sort of pans out, so I might end, actually end up uh, back on the airfield lake or I might end up on here, first port of call is definitely going to be here, see where we go, if there's any good swims for it, anything like that, and uh, then after that it'll have to definitely be the uh, Airfield Lake, which I have a feeling is going to be the one I'm going to end up on, realistically. But we shall see. We shall see. I am sort of tempted in some. I have to do three nights. I would like to do three nights, but I am tempted to sort of hold back until the Monday. I actually, come down Monday and do Monday night and Tuesday night. Just do the two nights again just to try and sort of avoid people trying to get back on here. Don't know. Never really know, really. Just gotta tinker around and see what occurs. Uh, had a few liners in the night from my tufty friends that have been out there. 
Oh, the shark really has something on us to learn about. Um, it's really weird. I didn't find the left hand rod, but I certainly found that rod. It's as though it's a, a known area that everyone puts bait on. So I just probably sort of dive there. So if I fish that again, I'm going to have to uh, sort of, uh, single baits out there. Uh, and uh, leave it like that, really. Just maybe scatter a few. 20 mils or something like that. I don't know, I'm gonna think on that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like me to start my new adventure. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been, a, been a nice start. And we'll uh, see where we go from there.